just let the trucker sleep, please. Okay, banging on the, banging on the, the sleeper. So he, I came back to you. I was going for the so he was banging the on the window and you smashed it out? Yes, that's that's see. awesome of you. Good job. Yes. And then he just crawled out? Yes, he got out. Good morning, and thank you very much, Green APU, for keeping me nice and cool. Probably didn't even need it, but I just like the uh, the sound, you know, the hum. Well then, I guess the police officer leaves later in the night? I don't know. Because there's two trucks parked on that side, and two trucks parked on the other side. Whatever. I think, I mean, that by, there's so much room, it should be able to park. It should make this whole right lane just parking four trucks, but I don't know. Yeah, I guess I should have just parked there, but they said go to a truck stop. Those two guys on the left side, too. The police officer's no longer there. Whatever. We came back uh, 15 minutes before our appointment. Here we go. Right lane is for outside trucks. Left lane is for, we'll probably find a different gear. Lane is for uh, Walmart trucks and Swift trucks. Good morning, Walmart. Don't be early, don't be late. Pull up to the last stop sign, get your paperwork ready. There goes Swift right next to me. Oh, easy. Easy on those speed bumps. Okay, paperwork. Probably need my ID also. Let's go check in for the second time. Okay. Thank you. My goodness, it sure is beautiful out here, though. That's one great thing. Beautiful weather, a little chilly, but like bearable. Just wearing a t shirt, wearing the Hurley. Let's get this off the truck, though. Little lake pond right here. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Man, thank you very much. Have a good morning. Good. I will have to check the records, but I don't know when was the last time I've been here. I've been here probably, I don't know, five, six times. 209, 212, looking for 220. But the only thing about this is it's only like 75 miles past where I go all the time in Orlando. But there's so many little stoplights and um, small towns you go through to get that last 75 miles. It's like stop and go, stop and go. A bunch of little stoplights, but got paid pretty well on it for this spot market that we're in right now. 220, okay, right here to our left. I love it, wide open with two two uh, doors next to each other. So we're, this is a disconnect like uh, the other Walmart in Winter Haven. Let's get our doors open, get our hazards on get back in there. Be quick about it. This has one of those metal uh, seals, so I have my trusty old cutters that one of you guys sent me. I forget whoever sent me these, but thank you so much. Um, they are awesome for these kind of seals. Like this, which you can still kind of get, but these work way better. Oh, missed it. There you go. Now our juice from Henderson, North Carolina is down here in Florida. Let's get it in that door. Back it up, Terry. Thank you. 
okay, they will give us a call. Let's go uh, hang out, wait for a call. Just grateful for the work. That's two for two. The last time I was over at uh, Walmart in Winter Haven, was unloading like 45 minutes. Same thing here. Barely laid my head down, got a phone call. So that's awesome. I appreciate it. All right. E Posados is pulling in. And we're going to reconnect to our trailer. Go get our paperwork. Green light. I love it. Checked out. Easy enough. Gave him his paper. Checked in my trailer. We're gone. Well, like the video from yesterday, it must have just been shift change for the uh, policeman because they are behind both these trucks. One on the left, one on the right. And he's walking up with his flashlight. No sleep for you. Wake up, move your truck. Go drive 25 minutes down to the uh, truck stop. Oh my goodness. Just let the trucker sleep, please. Okay, banging on the, banging on the, the sleeper. Can't sleep here, plenty of room for you, but nope. Same thing over on the other side. My goodness. T's and P's. Come on, Walmart. Just pave that extra piece of uh, land and put some trash cans out there and yeah, let the trucker sleep. Okay, till next time, Arcadia. A little bit of wispy fog right through here. Keeping it uh, a little slower than usual. What's the speed limit here? 45? Okay, okay. Cleared up though, right there. So these are just part of those little towns you come through in here. Just a bunch of stoplights and then opens up a little more and then more stoplights, but not bad. Brings back some great memories. There's a sign right above us that says Legoland, right turn only. Legoland's like two, three miles to the right, right here. Awesome time hanging out with the uh, with the boys there. Uh, and teed up, so we'll go back again soon before they get too big and don't really care about it. It's a fun, fun place, so the rides aren't too crazy. And uh, the Lego part of it's awesome, especially Kaysen, who is our little Lego builder. Cash does a little bit, and Kylan does a little bit, but Kaysen really likes to, uh, my middle son likes to build the Legos. All right, we're almost back to uh, Highway 4. Don't know how it's going to be on Saturday, but we shall see. What's going on? I have officer there. Two. I don't know. They're helping out that Toyota. I don't know. 55 degrees. Ooh, kind of cold out here. A little cold for Florida. Well, oh, geez, Louise. Let's see if we can help. I don't. I hope no fire starts. But my goodness, that happened right in front of us. Driver? Yeah, he's the driver. Okay. Yeah. He's the only one in the car? Yes. Yeah, there was only one. Yeah. I just got a fire extinguisher in case it starts going up. Yeah, the tire stuck. His tire. Oh, tire blue? His tire blue. It's up here now. Smell, you can smell gas, so I'd be careful.
battery sitting right there. I came back to you. So, so, so he was banging on the window and you smashed it out? Yes, that's that's see. an awesome of you. Good job. Yes. And then he just crawled out? Yes, he got out. But hey. I asked him, is there anybody else? He said, no. No, just him. Woo! Early morning fun. Wow. I love it when good people help. That lady right there, he was banging on the window and she smashed it out with her flashlight. Uh, these are the first people to help him, so that's awesome. Very, very nice. And it's scary though. That guy's real lucky. Woo, it'd be alive. It's cold out here. But the help is on the way. My goodness. Help when you can. Alright, no fire, but you can definitely smell gas. Things leaking. Let's get going. Woo. Look at that sunrise over the St. John's. Absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful. What is going on on the other side of the highway? Do we have another car wreck, guys? Tease and peas. Oh, man. Jeez, oh, you hate to see that. Looks like two cars rolled over. I one on the back of that one. That one's in the middle of the road. My goodness, how does this stuff happen? Jeez and peas, guys. It's all closed down. for a better rest of the day, better Saturday. I pray that those people are, people are okay. It's kind of eerie to see um, nobody on that highway on the other side. They're probably holding it, I would imagine, right there past the ramp. I don't know, but that's it's, uh, eerie to see that. Daytona Speedway right in front of us. Daytona Airport and Daytona Beach right over there. New Smyrna right to, to our right, about 20 miles. Cool Beach we went to for the first time this spring break. Okay, you'll be able to see the grandstands a little bit right here. Right past that light pole. Grandstands, Daytona Beach. Or Daytona Raceway, sorry. But missed that pop a little bit. There you go. Bumpy Pumpy. Probably stop at the New Loves Exit 305 um, that I've never been to. A big one, check that out. Uh, re refresh. Uh, it looks like it's light traffic, anyways. Going on Highway 4, or maybe it's just I haven't seen it where it's backed up yet. Probably up here. Daytona Way Station on the way back is busy with people sleeping, but not too much. And there's a hopper bottom, makes you think of. Oh, no, it's a container, I think. It's just sitting on the scale. It's been sitting there the whole time. <laughs> uh, Daytona southbound uh, scale. It seems like they always just kind of keep you sitting there. Maybe they're taking bathroom breaks a lot. Watch out, container. Stay in those lanes. A lot of control. Okay. 59 degrees. Thought it'd be warmer down here. Guess not. I always love this bridge, even though it's just going over some rail railway down there. It's a pretty cool bridge. I don't know why. Jacksonville to the right. Georgia straight ahead. Later in the day yesterday, our C.H. Robinson buddy got us hello. So I was very appreciative of that. On a Saturday, that's rare. So hopefully they're uh, in good spirits. We'll pick up at between 8 and 10. So uh, I mean, they're open until I think 2 or 3 though, so we'll be late. But uh, we'll see if they can load us. I've never been here be before, I don't believe. I don't even know if I've ever taken this exit. It's called Zoo Parkway. Not sure. Gotta get my windshield clean, but uh, my windshield wipers for some reason don't hit that area. Unless it's raining, it does, but only on a down pole. Don't hit on the up. Okay, what do we got here? We are going straight on Zoo Parkway. So, seven. so I imagine the zoo's over here. I don't know. Imagine if it's called Zoo Parkway, Jacksonville Zoo. And it looks like it's also the airport. <laughs> but we 
right up here and it's on the left. Okay. Zoo entrance is right back there to the right. That's like where you, I guess, enter to help, I don't know, something else, help the zoo. Uh, now I'm thinking about it. I think I've been here before. Not 100%, no, I don't think so. It's a different one. The actual lawn I took when I, my, um, my hub caught on fire. It was something like this, but it wasn't this place. It was the same kind of, same kind of look. Let's get in here. Let's see where we check in at. Just wanted to come in this way because I don't have the blind side. But I don't want to block anybody in. Let's see what we got. says stop on the door but everyone's down there so I'm imagining it's that side let's see so I was walking that way it smells really good out here like food uh, walking that way some kind of golf cart said hey so we're supposed to go over here this is good thank you for telling me that Thank you. Keep me from walking too far. <laughs> Where are you going? I'm going to. Ooh, it's bright. Awesome. We got door six. Let that door not slam that time. Beautiful. Saturday load. It's rare. Um, and we got almost $1,000 going back home. So very grateful for that. So let's get in door six once he uh, pulls out. Door seven is pulling out right now, so that's awesome. Makes it an easier back, but our trailer's still nice and clean. That is good. Okay. Got a whistle, so I think we're ready to go, but he's not around anymore, so. I think it's coming though. Beautiful sun. That guy back there under the tree with the fanny pack on, he's. He's like a co-driver in a blue truck next to me. He was like walking around, didn't say nothing, like just kept looking at me and like went behind the truck and opened the doors. But he's yelling at somebody on the phone, so teasing piece for him. Hope he's having a better day. Super quick load. 20 minutes maybe through here. Let's go. Here is that S turn again. Good old Savannah. Beautiful day. 75 up here. Uh, don't hit any trailers, don't hit any Hondas. It was crazy yesterday. A couple cars dipped off into the cones. Looks like we're nice and smooth. Nobody next to us. Uh, blue ramp coming up the left lane, though. All right, let's get through it. Get, get out of uh, Georgia. We're almost in South Carolina. Get a little bit of weekend in, and then we'll deliver this on Monday. There's one overpass done. I wonder how long that got backed up yesterday with that wreck. Look at that guy in the ram. He's flying. He don't care. Save the signs. They're all down there. Saving the signs. But I'm pretty sure that truck probably stayed or that Honda stayed in the middle of the road after it uh, hit that trailer. Crazy, crazy stuff. All right, we got a merge from our right. No one's coming. Then we'll take our S turn and be out of here.
it's actually a hub. Ah, uh, I know it's the back of the motor. Dang it, man. T's and P's. See something like that? Get your fire extinguisher out. I think it's the motor. Something's burning oil. Maybe an oil line came loose. Oh, he's got smoke everywhere. Dang it, man. You gotta be quick about that kind of stuff, too, because if it is a hub, once you stop moving, it gets real hot. It lets that air get to that fire or that whatever, a hot brake drum, whatever you got going on, or your hub, and uh, it starts to get in flame, starts to burn those tires. Once those tires catch your uh, Sayonara, it's gonna be hard to put it out unless the fire truck gets there. Okay, it's a piece of the FedEx truck. I had to stop real quick for some food with guacamole. And then. <laughs> Brisket quesadilla. Oh yeah. Almost South Carolina. Lots of bobtails always over at that pilot. So maybe there's a target around here, I imagine. Because Target does make you like drop your trailer and snip bobtails. Maybe that's what it is. Well, let me know in the comments if that's what you've ever done that. I think there's a target around here somewhere, I'm not sure. Okay, let's make that last 200 miles back home. I can't wait. Wasn't that long of a trip out? Um, just glad to be home for tomorrow, be able to hang with the boys, and then we'll deliver Monday. Just grateful for a load, too. Thanks a lot. It's uh, funny from C.H. Robinson. He gets me home and doesn't waste any fuel. I recognize that license plate. That's Arizona. Talked to my brother today. It was 96 a couple days ago in Arizona. Man, it's hot again. Um, if you've ever come to Fountain Inn area where we live since the border, that place right there, Bobby's Barbecue. Oh my goodness. They're only open Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So good though. Also forgot to mention Kaysen right here scored the first two goals again for his team and then went on to score three more before the coach pulled him out to, so the other team could try and have okay, a chance man. to win they ended up winning six to one so uh Kaysen, great job five goals in one game um there's my little athlete man cash my athlete man too but i was uncoordinated until i got older like those uh 12 13 i couldn't even dribble basketball so cash coming to his own just like i did but casen has got it right now a little lefty so good job case and after that soccer game, you can see right here, T-Dubs took the uh, boys over to Unity Park. It's north of uh, downtown Greenville, which is the major city, well, I guess kind of mid-sized city that we live close by to, about 15 minutes up north. Um, that was pretty fun. Looks like a great time. Glad she had fun with her friend and, her, and his, her son, so all four of them could go hang out and play. But 
glad to be home and get a couple hours with these boys before they have to go to sleep tonight and then we'll have all day tomorrow together see what Sunday holds just grateful to be home neighbors went to their lake house I'll use their parking oh yeah oh gorgeous day let's see what these uh, kids are doing <laughs> Hi, big boy. Hi, big boy. What's up, Cash Pass? What'd you do? Did you have fun at Unity Park today? Yes. Would you? Can I have a high five? You can have a high five. You're going to have tickles later. Where is your middle brother? He's upstairs, I think. Did you do good at soccer today? I didn't see him. Were you there? Oh, uh, yeah. He did pretty good. Did he score? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You see? He said he scored the most goals. <laughs> See, that's good for him. You could help his team. Hello, Murphy. Well, okay. I'm going to do it tomorrow and I'll get some tickles from you, boy. Oh, yes. Play? Yeah. We're playing a little bit, okay? Let me get, let me get, ah, 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 tiki. Let me get acclimated. Hi, Mama. Hi, Oh, man. Hi, Kai Kai. Mm -hmm. Unity Park looks fun. It was so much fun. What are you listening to on the podcast? Actually, I was FaceTiming. Oh, actually, for the wedding. Let's go say goodnight to Kaysen, and I'll edit this video, guys. Hope you had a beautiful uh, Saturday. I'm just grateful to be home. Anybody in here? <gasps> Hello. Dude, super proud of you with your goals today. You scored... but I, I built it back because it fell down. Uh-oh. Good job building it. Um, yeah. Great job playing soccer today. You helped your team win? Yeah. High five. All right, I brought you a tiki tiki. I know, but he keeps barking at me, so you can hold him for a little bit. All righty. Love you, Bubba. Love you. On that note, God bless you. We will see you on the next one. <laughs> on the next one.